Blackburn investigative reporter with WFAA surprised a lot of people when he suddenly resigned and announced he's running for Congress. Late this afternoon, Brett Shipp explained why he wants to go to Capitol Hill. Our political reporter Jack Fink live in Garland with what he's saying tonight. Well, Kaylee, Brett Shipp says ever since President Trump took office, he became increasingly disgusted with the direction and leadership of the country, and he says he could no longer sit on the sidelines. But one analyst says just because Shipp has good name recognition doesn't mean he's favored to win. It's time for new leadership. <laughs> A t-shirt. You want a t-shirt? After exposing corruption and fraud as an investigative reporter in Dallas for 22 years, Brett Shipp says he now wants to do the same in Congress. We're going to shine a light on the wasteful spending. We're going to expose the broken system. We're going to call out bad policy that benefits the wealthy and corporations at the expense of the rest of us. Ship is now the sixth Democrat running in the primary. The former investigative reporter joins Colin Allred, Ed Meyer, Lillian Salerno, Ron Marshall, and George Rodriguez. Political science professor Cal Gilson. Uh, so his visibility helps him. It gets him a look initially. And you don't believe his visibility makes him the automatic front runner? No, I don't, because he's a first time candidate. Uh, he has a persona on television as an aggressive investigative reporter, but we don't know what he looks and feels like as a candidate. Whichever Democrat wins the primary will likely face veteran Republican Pete Sessions, who has a primary challenger. Jilson says Sessions will win the primary and will be tough to beat during the general election. But I know that Pete Sessions is alert. Uh, he knows he's going to have to run hard. He's going to have all the money in the world. So I expect him to fight for his seat. The 32 congressional district race will be watched very closely. That's because it is one of three seats in Texas held by Republicans in which Hillary Clinton beat Donald Trump last year. Live in Garland tonight, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.